to remember these images of the black hole we saw back in April was a really big deal because it was the first time we were able to actually see them. It took hundreds of people and years of effort to make that possible, but one of those people was actually a graduate student at the U of A. Nine on your side's Veronica Vernaccio introduces us to that person. Hey, Veronica, good morning. Hey, Mark Whitney, good morning. He's a PhD student here at the U of A majoring in electrical engineering and minoring in astronomy. He says he spends almost all of his time working on research projects. One is continuing research on the black hole images, and he says that research is only just beginning. Arash Roshenani Shad spends most nights using the telescope at the Stuart Howard Observatory to capture these images of the stars. He's now using his love for photography and astronomy to help process the data being captured to create black hole images. It isn't only to, to prove the existence of a black hole. Uh, it also uh, means the study of the f black hole physics. And that means studying what is surrounding the black hole itself. This is part of the EHT or the Event Horizon Telescope Project. He joined the other hundreds of scientists around the world back in 2017 as an intern. The data used to create these images is in petabytes, which is equal to a thousand terabytes. To put that in perspective, he says the data used to create one image of the black hole equals the data to create 14,000 selfies. He says these images are going to help scientists in the future because before them, everything scientists knew about a black hole was based off of theories. The next steps is processing the data from another black hole they've discovered in our galaxy, Sagittarius. This will be by creating a video. The reason is that uh, M87, the current image, the current black hole has posed for you to take an image of. Uh, to take it, its image. However, M, uh, Sagittarius A star is evolving over time. And in order to see the image, we have to capture it moving. The goal is to be able to create videos for all black hole images in the future. He says he started at the U of A about a year ago and he has about five years left, but he's excited to continue his research to help more scientists collect information about our universe. Mark Whitney.